Oh, hello folks, here we are, out in the garden, sunshine, aircraft, <laughs> noisy neighbours, never mind. I'd like to show you a clockwork train set uh, I obtained from a local train fair. And this is a picture from the internet. And um, we're talking about 1968-1969. And uh, the box, if it had one, it would have looked something like that, called Miniville. And there's the components, and the track was the Super 4 track by the looks of it. And the station was uh, actually made up of parts. It used to be the TT system. 3mm to the foot, not 4mm to the foot, curiously. But that's what they included. Now, um, when they wanted to ship this type of set to America, it was under the name ATT. And there it is. Uh, the Americans might have thought those trucks were short, but there we go. And the track in this instance looks like it's plastic, not metal. And the platform looks the same. And it looks like the box may have looked a bit like that from the outside. Again, Miniville. Again. And the uh, yellow engine and the three trucks there. Okay, so here's the loco. I think it's one of the early uh, Triang versions, of the, I think it's called the top tank because of this curious little lump at the top. I think it's bigger because it gave more room for the spring inside to expand which gave it a, a slightly longer run. And, uh, and that gave us a little plastic cap on the lever, age of comfort for your hand. That's my, they didn't give you proper bump, buffers but uh, it is a toy after all, and you've got the connecting rod here, and uh, that's the front. Now underneath you can see here, it's only two wheel drive, it's not four, it's, it's free running. And to aid the traction on that single axle there, there's a weight, can you see it? Probably a zinc or alloy weight or something in there. It needs that, I did try it without and it slips all over the place. And uh, so it does need that weight to keep it down and uh, performing properly. There are features of this which I hadn't realised. If you look at the smoke box, this is the electric poly version that was available around about the same time. If you look at the smoke box area, look at that. You see the similarity in the mouldings there. The smoke box and the leading edge of the boiler, the little toolbox they've got there. I have altered the front, it's not quite the same. And the windows, can you look at the drivers, the cab windows, how similar they are. And if I turn it round, if you look at the bunker at the back, can you see, not really the coal, but that top edge of the bunker. Very, very similar. And yet really, they're nothing like each other when you look at it like that. But they have got similarities, I just thought I'd uh, point that out. So after this design, probably around about 1970 or thereabouts, they changed the design to this one. And uh, there are, compared to the two, yeah, there are slight differences if you put them side by side, the cab is different, the top of the boil is different, and but the mechanism is very, very similar. We've got another aircraft going over as well. You see the red one has still got that little cast weight at the back because the, the red one still is only two wheel drive. They're free running there. And uh, the connecting rod's still there. And then from there, <laughs> we then went on to this design, which the body is pretty much the same. The cab and the... Okay, they've stamped a name on it and it's a different colour, but look at the mechanism now. We've lost that chassis weight at the back. And the reason is, now you've got four-wheel drive, they're actually coupled together. That's a coupling rod, not a connecting rod. The others have got connecting rods. I think I've just gone over it with a silver pen just to highlight some of the handrails and so on. 
Now you notice we've lost a little plastic cover on there. Whoops. <laughs> Can't wait to go this one. <laughs> right. Ooh, can hear the birds singing away. I think he's got a robin behind me. Anyway, let's uh, let's have a look at these in action, shall we? Okay, just giving it a few winds and let's see. Uh, Okay, let's try the red one now. There you go. Well, these are not fully wound, you know, I've only wound them a few times. Now I'll turn the blue one, I think it's a bit slower this one. Plop. <laughs> I did that last time. Doesn't like the point, you see. I think his wheels must be out of gauge slightly. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and give you a, a little train ride. This might be a bit foolhardy, but we'll see how it goes. I've got one pushing and one pulling. There we go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, comparing the uh, the three engines and uh, hopefully I'll try and get the Thomases out before it uh, I think we've got some rain forecast so I'll better get my skates on. Bye for now.